can get the mic work over to get the card or whatever. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll tell you this, like I've told everybody else, I'm coming to get my second championship. You know, I mean, I've been in this battle with John for a long time. And it's kind of funny that uh, Tony touched on the Facebook and the Twitter and all that kind of stuff, folks. If this was a popularity contest. They had a hand him and his daughter a trophy already. It's not. It's about a drag race. It's about who has the best car, the best team, the best driving skills. And right now, we do. We've made up 80 points. Well, we came in 80 points back on John. We made up over 120 points. John's a 16-time world champion. He has nothing to prove to anybody. I have everything to prove to somebody. And I plan on doing whatever it takes to win, whether that's you know, going in there and sit on a practice tree for hours every day, whether it's, you know, looking at film and, and critiquing my driving, whether it's talking to sports psychologists about the mental edge and keeping it. I don't care. Whatever it takes, we have to do this. You know, and it's, it's one of those things where you really put it puts it in perspective because I've been here, I've won one, I've lost them. You know, we're, we're battling back and forth and you never know the outcome. And that's what makes it exciting. It makes me want to get up on the wheel. I want to race John Force. I want to race Courtney Force. I want to race the best out there. These guys are the best out there and we want to beat them. But I'll tell you this much that, you know, no matter what we do, we have to have a game plan, you know. And, and the thing about it is, you know, a, a guy like John, I'll put this to, to bed really, really quickly because I know that, you know, you all talk about Jimmy Proc and John and all this mess that's going on. Well, you know, in last year after they crowned us, uh, John Force, the, the world champion in, in 2013, they, you know, we, my crew chief was sick all pretty much the countdown. Uh, finally went into emergency surgery at the end of this race here, missed the last race. He comes out, and uh, you know, we're in Vegas, and who, you know, well, I don't know what the odds were, but I bet you there was a, you know, I could have won a pile of money and maybe brought, bought a brand new farm if you'd have told, told me that we'd come out there and beat John with an assistant crew chief that had never tuned a race car, had only put a, a clutch in the car, and, and had no idea what the hell he was doing. His eyes were as big as his mic when he looked in there underneath the hood. So I understand when you have things happen and you have problems, you have to adapt to them. He's going to do that. We cannot give this man any room to breathe. When you have somebody like John or Courtney that, that has made a few mistakes along the way and they're down and they're trying to crawl back up, you have to step on their throat. You cannot give these folks any, any room to breathe. You have to make it happen. We have to capitalize on whatever they're doing. So we, we got to go out there. We got to have a strong race. And saying all that, I, I really have to just focus on my race car and the, who we're racing and the racetrack in front of us. Because if I'm worried about what John's doing, or what you know, the, what his team's doing, or what Courtney's doing, or anybody else for that matter. I'm not focused on myself, and I'm not focused on my driving. You know, I, I really believe in my heart we can win the second championship for our team. I'm a great leader. I have a great team, and I, I really think we're going to go out here and get it done.